Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report for what I think you're going to find to be a lively discussion about the research industry perhaps finally becoming extremely serious about altering the course of mobile research vis-a-vis -vis mobile users before they completely tune out. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by 4i University. 4i Group, which is running 4i University, recognizes all too well that the skill sets inside research functions of major companies, even as they cope with reduced market research budgets, must still deliver faster and deeper insights. And still, those research functions are changing on the fly. Thus, the need for 4i University, the only training service that will be providing research functions with cutting edge, necessary skills, along with a focus on a consultative approach and combining that with leveraging of foresight analytics. Check out 4igrowth.com for more information. How is the in research industry ever going to stop its self-imposed damage as it continues to aggressively charge ahead with mobile research. And by that I mean finding a way to put an end to mobile surveys that extend past single digits of minutes in order to complete them. Is the situation hopeless, which many fear is a realistic fear, or can something be done about it? Lisa Wilding Brown, EVP of Global Operations at Innovate MR, is the first to admit that the situation might actually get worse before it starts to get better, but she has become part of an effort around CASRO to turn things around, and she told us about it during a recent conversation. I'm crazy about mobile, um, and I think about it from my own perspective, just as an average day Joe, you know, a consumer myself, I use my mobile device all the time. It's within arm's reach, so that level of access gets me excited as a researcher to mm -hmm. think that we in you know, leveraged mobile more, the type of, of access we can get to folks, the in-the-moment access that I think is so compelling and exciting. But we've been talking mobile a long, long time. Um, and everyone would say at these conferences I attend every year, mobile is this year. This is mobile's happening. It, it's it's gonna happen this year. It's gonna happen. And we almost joke about it because you know, we know mobile is all around us. We know penetration rates for, you know, smartphone ownership continue to increase at an exponential rate. But let's talk about what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. The reality is I often get clients requesting to exclude my mobile panelists from their survey. So at least we're having the dialogue before, you know, it was sort of like just send it to everybody. Um, but I think through all the education and, and the discussions that we have at these conferences, people know that, you can't have a mobile respondent take your survey that's 30 minutes long with, you know, complex design. You're not going to get good data and, um, you know, it's just not going to be a good situation. Um, but with that said, I'm still seeing a lot of requests to exclude mobile respondents. And, and that's some, especially when you consider that, you know, key ethnicities, younger demos, millennials, they're all very much on their smartphone. And so excluding them from your surveys is problematic for obvious reasons. Do you agree with me that the situation might get worse before it starts to get better? I do. I often joke about, I think we're going to hit rock bottom first. Um, I, I really worry about that. I, I think about it all the time. Um, you know, I've invested a lot in my career. Um, I've gained a lot of expertise over the years. I don't necessarily want to go into a new industry. I love this industry and I'm passionate about what I do and the company I work for. But I want us to make some changes. And unfortunately... As much of a control freak as I am, I, I can't change this. I need help from, from various groups, from various sort of decision makers along the whole ecosystem for us to create change. We've seen, you know, we've seen these types of associations in the past create committees, um, not necessarily about user experience, to be honest. There hasn't been a lot of focus on that in particular. We've seen quality committees. We've seen different uh, associations and groups come together on that front. But it's difficult, depending where you sit on that spectrum, whether you're a buyer or a seller or an end client, you all have different objectives and different priorities and often kind of coming together to create that consensus can be difficult. Um, but I'm actually participating alongside Peter Milla and Melanie Courtright from Research Now and a few others on a committee that's sponsored by CASRO that's focused specifically on user engagement. And we're in the process of putting together a best practices guideline for 
you know, how to manage respondent experience from start to finish. And there's really not been anything like that done in the past. So I'm, I'm really excited to be kind of leading the charge with Melanie on that front. I think it's going to be great for more kind of um, novice panel managers and researchers to read, really understand kind of what is important from a best practice standpoint. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored today and this week by 4i University. 4i Group, which runs 4i University, recognizes all too well that the skill sets inside research functions of companies, even as they cope with reduced market research budgets, still have to find ways to deliver faster, better, deeper insights. And these research functions are not standing around. They continue to evolve and to change. Thus, the need for 4i University, which is the only training service that will be providing research functions with those cutting-edge necessary skills, plus a focus on a consultative approach and combining all of that with the leveraging of Foresight Analytics. There's a great deal of expertise that you can get from 4i Growth and 4i University. So check out 4i Growth com to get more information. You can contact them through their website. Have a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.